everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Recently I had done a haul in one of my Vlogmas videos and I had showed that I got this first aid pouch. I will leave the link below to the Etsy shop that I got this from. I believe it's called Created by Danielle. There's a couple of different versions of this and this is the black one and then it's got like black stitching as well. In the Vlogmas video, I was saying that I wanted to use this first aid kit as something that I can have in my glove compartment in the car. Um, you know, just something I can put some, just kind of a more emergency type things in. So I went to Target yesterday and I actually got a whole bunch of stuff and I'm gonna put some of it in here. I'm not putting everything in here, but I'm putting some of the things in here. So it's kind of just a random selection of things that I would need on the go. So the things that I purchased is I purchased these, either those are the Kleenex packs. I like them because they're thinner. Actually, I'm going to open them right now. I've got my handy dandy little scissors right here. Um, I was going to get a different Kleenex pack and honestly, this, like these Kleenex packs might just live outside of the first aid kit if I'm being 100% honest. But I like how slim that these are and they're not those like thicker, fatter ones. Um, so I like that they're really thin. So I'll probably be using one of these in here. It all depends on how it all fits in, you know what I mean, you guys? I also thought this, that these were a really good idea. These are the Cottonelle Fresh Care. These are flushable cleansing cloths, so they have a little bit of moisture to them, which is nice. And um, like if you're at a rest stop or something like that, you can actually flush them down the toilet or you can just like toss them in the garbage can. So I thought that these would be really nice to have on hand. Also, a Tied to Go stick. I mean, you can't not need this at some point in your life. Um, all right, and then I am a big Advil user. I am actually only gonna grab one of these. I don't need two, but they only came in a two pack, so that's fine. And then I got some Band-Aids in this little package. I also picked this up and I understand there's Band-Aids in here too, but whatever. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in this little container, but this has some gauze pads and some cleansing wipes, you know, to like wipe off like the bacteria and stuff if you have like a wound. And then also in that vein, I got this Neosporin to go, which is great. So you can just spray it. Um, just thought it would be a nice idea. Also, I got these Tums and Acid. They were in a little tiny, small package. And honestly, most of the stuff you guys, I got in the travel section. Um, the only thing I didn't get in the travel section are the Kleenex. And then um, I got some, well, these, these I just had on hand. I didn't pick these up at the store. Well, obviously I picked them up at the store at one point. These are just some Kotex little panty liners in case. I mean, you know, you can never have too many panty liners as a woman. And then these two things I did not pick up in the travel section. These are the gum soft picks for your teeth. Um, I figured I would put a couple of these in there just in case I needed them for something. And then also I have some allergy tablets as well because every once in a while someone needs an allergy tablet so they're just essentially like you know a generic Benadryl so anyway let's get into putting the things in the first aid kit let's see how much I can fit in there so I know I want to put these in here for sure I'll put this at the bottom and then these are really easy to fit in just because they're flat and they're just like little panty liners which are great all right, so let's take some stuff out of packages. Here's my little Tide to Go stick, which we all need. A little Neosporin guy. This is like so tiny. It fits really well. All right, the little Tums can just slip right in there. I like that the Tums um, packaging is kind of like, you can see it's like flat, it's like flatter. So I think that fits really well in there. And I've got my Advil. So I'm gonna open one of these, which is the, you know, the first one I'm gonna open. Um, I'll keep the other one on hand and in the house here, um, you know, when I need it, I'll use that one too. All right, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up these allergy tablets and put some allergy tablets in there just because obviously I know what they are. And so I've got some allergy pills in here too. So I think I'm just gonna put in a couple of these. And I'm just checking the expiration dates right now. The expiration date on here and on the back of the allergy tablets are very, very close. So. I don't mind taking these out of the package. I was thinking about just putting these in the um, the case, just, you know, like, like this, but I think it would be better used in there, um, you know, just, just to save a little bit of extra space. I actually give my dog allergy tabs 
every day, twice a day, because he's got really, really itchy skin, and it's a recommendation um, from his veterinarian. And I've always found that allergy tablets are always a good thing to have on hand. Well, I mean, obviously, Advil is too, but every once in a while you need like an antihistamine for something, especially if somebody gets a bee sting or you know something crazy like that happens. All right, so that is not all the way full, but you know, full-ish. And then if I ever want any other medication, I can just put it in here. Um, I'm pretty well versed in what actually the medications are, so um, I'm not, you know, feeling like I'm gonna mix it up. So anyway, if you wanna get really specific, say if you have kids, um, you could always use a different method as well. So I'll put that in there. Um, these little gum soft picks, I'm gonna put a couple of these in there. I'm not, let's see, oh sweet, this comes with like a little carrying case. Well, isn't that fancy? I did not realize that when I picked this up. That off camera a little bit, because you know, I've got my little tornado mess behind the camera. I like that, that looks really cute. I like that it's super flat too, because that's kind of, the whole idea is like everything needs to be flat. And then I'll just hang on to these, I'll just put these in the bathroom, so when I'm out, then I can put more into my little emergency kit. So as for these items, hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna, get these to fit in there. What I think I'm going to do, I'll open this bad boy up. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just gonna have, so these are, there's two cleansing wipes and there's a bunch of just regular, or there's some smaller band-aids and then there's some regular size band-aids. The regular size are in there as well. And then we've just got like some gauze right here too, just in case. So what I think I am going to do um, and these fit really nicely in here. I'm gonna put the little smaller ones on this side, and then I'm gonna open this bad boy up and put these in here because, you know, can't have enough Band-Aids, I feel like. So I think this is what's going to be in the actual first aid pouch, just so I have a little bit of wiggle room in there. This I'll leave out because honestly, I probably would use these more on the regular if they weren't like all the way inside of the kit. It'd be a little bit more difficult to handle if they were just like in my glove compartment or center console. And then this, I'll know what's in it. I might, you know, end up doing like a label or putting something on there at some point too. So yeah. But let me go through really quickly. I know I just kind of put in everything, but I'll just go through what is actually in there. So I've got the Tums antacid smoothies. These are the 12 chewable tablets, assorted fruit. I've got my little Advil, which is 10 tablets, but I also put six of the generic Benadryls in there. I've got my little gum soft picks for my teeth. I was actually thinking about doing dental floss, but that was just a little bit too thick, I felt. So these I think are gonna be really great. And then I've got my little Neosporin to go. I've got my Tide to go stick because, you know, I'm a messy person sometimes. I've got my Cottonelle Fresh Care, which are like the moistened wipes. You can flush these guys. And then last but not least, I have three different little penny liners from Kotex. So let me refill all of this and then we'll close out the video, y'all. So that all fits perfectly in there with a little bit of room to spare, which I love. So that is it for my first aid kit. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be putting this in my car. If you guys wanna ever see like a car organization, like how I organize the different little compartments in my car, like my glove compartment and my center console, let me know in the comments below. That's something I've actually wanted to do. Um, I might be doing it in the spring just cause I live in Minnesota and it's like negative two right now as I'm filming this. Um, so it might wait until the spring, but it's definitely something that I can share in the future if that's something that you're interested in taking a peek at. So like I said, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that. Also, I will try to link everything that I put in here down below. I'll probably just put some Amazon links for all the little things that I put in the pouch. I know I got all this stuff at Target, but sometimes Amazon is a little bit more accessible depending on where you're watching. And I will also be linking the Etsy shop to where I got this little pouch as well. I'm sure you can get other pouches, but it's just kind of fun to know exactly 
exactly which one I got. And I think I said this before, but there are a couple of different varieties that were on this Etsy shop too. So anyway, that is gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. I really, really appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and lets me know that you like these kind of videos. I'm kind of detracting from what I normally do, but I just love to share. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new videos for you guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys.